What's up guys? Y'all know what today is. Matco Michael's here. So let's take a look, see what he's got. Come on. Boy, that orange looks good. I've had a lot of compliments on that box and the other one back there too. Man, I like it. And both of them was just, I'm talking about. Holy smokes, man. Them's two they, good looking boxes. Man, I tell you what, they both almost rolled off the truck. Like, I mean, we've been so close on both of them. Golly. That orange looks good, but that blue trim, man, it's just hard to beat that blue. They got that blue color right. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> uh, I do like that been. orange though. Uh, anything and everything. Yeah, that orange, that orange and that that black vein there, man, it just, it yeah. both of them just pop. Good. My intentions are if if you know by the end of next week that one's not going or rotating them. Yeah. Because they both they just grab your attention like as soon as you. Mm -hmm. I've had people that just come up. To the stairs and was just gonna say have a good day and walk up and look at them just because it's grabbed their attention so man that right there is a pretty box that's almost as pretty as my box yeah almost yeah that's the success two base so they uh they're nice boxes yeah but i've been waiting to get some in finally got them in and i like them they look good Yep. I've already got some guys wanting to upgrade and trade in and trade up as, as I've been saying. Well, them look good. You might as well just keep one of them. You keep saying you're going to keep one. Ah, uh, well, you know, uh, I think if it ever happens when I go to get it picked up, it's just never going to have to come on the truck. If it, <laughs> if it ever gets rolled on here to get to a comb, it's not coming off. Yeah. I just can't convince myself to, to do it. Uh, and I, I, I think I like the gray and blue better. Just depends on how long you look at it. Mm-hmm. And at what angle. I like the orange trim. It looked really good till I looked back here and seen that one. Then <laughs> it's that blue. I <laughs> changed my that mind. Just grabbed you. That blue looks good. Well, the long-awaited beanies are back. You know, last year we had these beanies. They had the light in them. Mm -hmm. Everybody liked them. But the main thing they liked was the Bluetooth. Yep. Well, they decided this year to put the Bluetooth and the light all in one. That way we've got music and a light. So they are back. So uh, we green and black is what we originally started out with. Um, unfortunately, I didn't order enough black. Uh, they sold out yesterday. <laughs> they lasted one day, so, right. uh, which I've only got, I think, three green left, maybe four, I don't know, three. Um, so, hey, it's okay, though. Well, Everybody. what's the part number on them? Because, you know, if we don't give part numbers, people go to crying. On that part number, just change the last letter. Uh, you just add a, you it, take the G off for Yeah, that. yeah, just take that letter off. There you go. So those are sharp. Of course, on the light, it charges different. Uh, it actually pops out, plugs into a USB, and it charges right up. So oh, that's cool. I I kind of like that because if you're not using the light at the time, mm -hmm. you can pop it out and charge it and still wear the beanie. Yeah. yeah, it's got a hole there, but if your ears are cold, you're not gonna care. If it's, <laughs> you know. I wore that beanie last week that I got with those pliers sets, you know? Yeah. Man, that thing, that's a nice baby. Match my uniform and everything. That's it. Oh, that one that come with the pliers? Yeah. Yeah. I had a lot of people that bought those pliers because it had a, a bag and a beanie in it. They were, <laughs> they had the pliers, uh, not that particular set of pliers, but they had pliers, but you just can't refuse a bag and a beanie. So. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Uh, that's a good deal on those. I can't remember, I think this was it. Yeah. So the new tool this week is gonna be what they call the Cratchit, uh, Cratchit, Crack It, Wrench It set. Boy, I'm, it's Friday. <laughs> uh, 
there's these these are new to the market um so they're for tight reach areas now i'll be up front and honestly i haven't used them so right i don't know um but what they do is they go and they sit straight down on the bolt and then you've got a spot for a quarter inch ratchet that you can break it loose so if you're uh in a super tight spot that right there will will, will get down there and break it loose um i think it goes up to a 10 and then we have some standard sizes in there too. So it's your standard and metric all together. Um, so it sits kind of on top of the bolt instead yeah, of like you normally do with a wrench. Yeah, yeah I, I'm guessing that for you know really tight spots that you just really can't get nothing into is what mm -hmm. they do. Um, so I'm kind of interested to see how these turn out. Um, I'll have to find something to use them on to just yeah. see. But <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll try something. But Those are different looking. They're most definitely different looking. Um, for people that like the redback socks, the Christmas socks are out too. Um, if your dealer was able to actually get some of them, they they went quick. Uh, I think we got what two packs. We got women's and men's. Yeah, we got women's and men's, and I didn't get very many. I tried to get as much as we could, but they went so quick. Yeah. Um, anybody that's been involved in the redback situation, it's it's been hard to come upon anything from them, whether it be their boots or their socks. It's just they're so good that they they sell out so quick but we we do have a few of those left i believe oh, that's cool and, uh, well i was bragging before i turned the video on how good i like the matco coat yeah i wear it every day so because <laughs> like when we get 30 degrees here it's cold oh for like, us it's 30 cold. degrees is the same as you guys up north and negative 10 <laughs> like it's exactly the same and uh I was very appreciative yeah. of the quality that they put into those jackets. Well, when I first received these, I, my first worry was, well, they're kind of thick, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, that wasn't even a problem starting yeah. this week. I mean, it, <laughs> we started Monday super I mean, it was Saturday and Sunday. It was kind of cool, but you could still do something if you yeah. had to. Monday we woke up and didn't know what to do. It was, it was cold. It was Monday cold. and Tuesday was cold. Man. Yeah. Uh, we posted a picture, uh, I think on our Instagram or something. Uh, it was spitting snow. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't tell you the last time I've seen it snowing <laughs> in they November. Said it was fog. I said, no, it was well, it was way back. <laughs> I mean, we were like a mile and a half, two miles back. I wouldn't have thought that it would have been snowing, spitting snow that hard in November. But hey. The guys up north just don't understand how it is down here. No, I don't guess. No. Like normally, you can wear short sleeves year round. Oh, I for mean, the most at, part. at Christmas you're wearing shorts and a yeah. you know. Well, last year at Christmas we went to the beach. Remember? Yeah, <laughs> we was so on there, the beach at Christmas last year. So there you go. That tells so, you how our. I mean, yeah. I, you know, it is what it is. But that's true. Hey, it's okay for a little bit of cold weather every once in a while. You get to well, wear whoever, whether you or. Or the missus picked out the two color combos on the boxes. Y'all did a fine job. So normally I uh, I had to give her credit, but uh, the orange one was my idea. Wasn't uh, the, the blue one was hers, so. <laughs> Girl, you won that one. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> what do you think, Kevin? Which one looks better? You ain't seen the gray one. You need to come up here and look at it. Come up here and you can see it good, man. Which one looks better? This Woo! Two for two. Hey. If this box is here next week, I'll be surprised. Because that's a good looking box. You did a good job on that. It's got all that power USB stuff. And it's short. It, it took us a little while to decide on what to order, though. I mean, we it took us, what, a week? We looked at probably, I don't know how many. The, the configurator, in my opinion, just don't do a, a, a whole lot of justice on some of the our The blue colors, colors definitely is, is so bad. I, I don't know there. So what we actually did is there's a, a Maco tool, uh, toolbox page where everybody shows off their Maco toolbox. Yeah. Uh, I just went to it, and we just scrolled through it for a long time, just looking at different people's boxes, what they had done. Mm -hmm. and uh, We saw a different, the color different couple of different combinations um red's a big option too yeah um, they the do, red trim looks good I like they it. do that well it's a candy like a candy apple mm -hmm. red in my opinion but it 
with the the gray and the the black there it it pops really loud yeah i think the green has kind of uh in in my eyes at least i had it on my truck when i first started and i just got burnt out on the green uh, it's well, a great color my box has sold several white boxes yeah and a buddy of mine just sent me the picture that he just ordered a 6s box exactly like mine i mean top box both side locker it's exactly like my box but he did white and orange he's a big tennessee oh, yeah. fan yeah so i was like i don't know how that's gonna look that orange but now that i see the trim on that that's gonna that's, that's gonna, gonna look pop. good yeah so well and the good thing about it is that the trim is actually able to be changed i mean mm -hmm. it's not a uh, forever feature um, which that's what he told me he's like you know he said i was a little hesitant on a white box yeah because he went from a Have black a box one. with black trim to a white box with the orange trim and uh i think he told him it'd be about 10 weeks yeah so he could get it in but I, it, it's, it's gonna look good we'll post a picture once he gets it yeah well i'm gonna be honest they uh they're starting to get caught back up i do believe because i ordered those and it wasn't near as long <laughs> It's kind of funny. I ordered these, and uh, about a week and a half later, we had a sales meeting where boxes were on sale. And I was like, well, you know, they're stock boxes. These are considered custom because we don't stock them. So I was like, well, so I talked to my DM. I was like, hey, is there any way you can tell me if they'll all come in at one time? Because I didn't really want that to happen. He's like, no, nah, there's, there's not really any way that I can guarantee that. And I was like, all right, well, I'll roll the dice. And I mean, we had one box come in and then we got notification that these two were being made and i was like okay well it'll happen different nope monday we get a call from Averett and they say hey we got you three uh, packages <laughs> down here and we're like three which we had ordered a top drawer too so i was like yeah. okay two toolboxes and a top drawer we can make that fit he calls me back 10 minutes later and says never mind we got another package in for you all the boxes come in at one time <laughs> and i'm like how am i gonna get four toolboxes and a top drawer on this truck to get it home it was a sight to be seen i bet uh, you had boxes all the way up to that counter didn't uh you? they come about halfway we ended up uh dropping one that we had off so um we didn't have four on the truck we had three toolboxes and a top drawer and it was packed yeah um we had to get creative on how to, <laughs> to get it all in here especially the I don't know. I don't. I don't think people realize how heavy built everything is on these boxes. They need to pick up a locker, and that will. I'm that a, or <laughs> let, let me rephrase that. They need to try to pick up one of the Matco lockers, we, and that'll uh, answer those questions. The the top drawer. You know, you would think a locker would be heavier than a top drawer, and in some aspect, it probably is. But I'm gonna tell you what, that top drawer, I asked her, I said, look, is there any way you can go with me that way? Cause I can get the toolboxes in by myself. That's no problem. I yeah. said, I don't know how I'm gonna get that top drawer in by myself. She said, yeah, I can help you. We get down there and I pick up my side and it's heavy. And I said, all right, can you pick up that side? She goes, oh, nope. I said, well, okay. So we ended up having to take creepers and I'd lift one side, put a creeper underneath it, yeah. lift the other side and we just rolled it onto the truck. But so you think the, you think the top drawers heavier than the locker i don't not necessarily heavier it's more awkward to pick up yeah um because i know we couldn't we couldn't do anything with a locker no you know, we couldn't been for the I, I don't think now. the top drawers is as he i think it's as heavy and maybe a little lighter but they, it is definitely not because i know with my snap-on box we picked it up and hung it on the side yeah and then as soon as we tried it with the Matco, I was like, uh -uh, this, yeah. this ain't going to happen. Today. Yeah, we had to use a, a, a jack. And I'm going to tell you, we, well, if it wasn't been for those creepers, and we, if, they're, if there's any doubt that these boxes are built heavy, mm. just try to pick one up. Yeah. I mean, it is no crazy. Doubt. Just the accessories. I wouldn't have thought the top drawer would be anywhere that heavy. Um, but it's built to last, and you can tell. Yeah. Um, I mean, just the top here, uh, obviously I can't just pick it up, but if you own one of these boxes and you've never tried to flip that over, because that's that phenolic top, so it's super, super strong. That's the same stuff, didn't you say, like bowling balls were made yeah. out of? Yeah, and the wheels have got some of the same material built into it, but if you ain't ever tried to flip yours, give it a try one day. <laughs> but you better have two people, because <laughs> yeah. you're not flipping that by yourself. It's heavy. I'm pretty, just the top, it's heavy. Yeah. Um, I'd rather it be that way, though. Yeah. I'd rather too. it be. 
you know, I know everybody lo watches the, you know, the video of them dropping it, and they're like, oh, that ain't real life. I know. Yeah. But getting but your toolbox back into it. I'm going to tell you, if somebody picks my box up and drops it, they can have it. I'm not messing <laughs> with that guy. Like, yeah. I'm not even going to try to shoot that dude. Like, if uh, he's that bad, hey, buddy, tear up everything you want to tear up. That's right. I'll have Michael order me a new one. Insurance will take care of it. It'd be all right. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, definitely, it's definitely heavy in every aspect. No kidding. Well, what does the beanies ruin? I think we got them on sale for mid-30s. Okay. So for Bluetooth and a light on it, I think that's pretty Not fair. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I mean, some people pay that for a hat that don't have Bluetooth in it. So, yeah. I mean, if your ears are cold and you like to listen to music. There you go. Can't beat it. All right, guys. Well, I guess that's going to wrap us up this week. Like I say, talk to your Matco guy because right here is two prime examples of amazing looking boxes get this one because it's way prettier <laughs> not taking nothing away from this one but the blue and so if you hadn't ever seen the blue one better. that one's great right yeah, yeah yeah if if that box wouldn't have been on there i said this is the this is the second prettiest box i've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well y'all have a great one like always thanks for watching if you like the video hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise kotos and discount codes if you're not subscribed it's real simple you take your finger and you click that button that's all you got to do have a great week, and we'll catch you next time. See ya.